Oh man, was this just the best day. Come with us to Charlotte, North Carolina and Carowinds, where the Carolinas come together. One of the coolest things about Carowinds is that it's in two different states. So we're literally walking down the border of North and South Carolina, one foot in, one foot out. Pippa is in South Carolina. Hogan is in North Carolina. How crazy is that? Y'all are in different states right now. You've got your Starbucks right in the entryway if you need a coffee fix and a sugar high. Cinnabon's right there too. Our first move was to head to their kids area, Camp Snoopy, and this was a really good move for us because there were lots of different types of rides and I could kind of gauge what the girls were going to be into. This is what's going to be hard. They're going to want to ride every ride they see and I am going to want to tell them go to this ride. So we're going to see who wins, but so far they're winning because we rode Charlie Brown's wind up. As our, as our rope drop ride of the day. Um, so yeah, so far so good. P.S. How great is the theming of this area? Loved walking through Camp Snoopy. But the lesson here, be flexible. The kids are going to take over. And also, things are probably going to go wrong because I was supposed to be filming a great Snoopy's Peanuts Pirates ride here. And all I got was random slow motion video of the girls talking about something random. But for me, it's about the roller coasters. Carol wins as a roller coaster park. And we started off with the kids version wilderness run. And guys, this is better than I thought it was going to be. It's not just your standard little dragon goes in a circle like you see at the fair. This was a fun ride. It was fun. It, the first time I screamed, but the second time. There's a couple decent hills, a helix, some bunny hops, plus they let you go around twice. And we exited not into a gift shop, but into a pretty good playground, actually. And my girls wanted to stop and play. Now, that's not a problem, but this is the type of playground we can generally do at home, and we do do at home a lot. So we're surrounded by roller coasters and all this fun stuff that we never get the chance to do. And here we are stuck on the playground until I finally managed to pull them off. And we head to Pigpen's Mud Buggies, where the real lesson was patience. They just said they're tired of waiting. We're literally the first people in line. Cute ride, round and round, up and down, but it did go on a little too long for my liking. So we're here, might as well knock out the rest of the kids' rides. Here's Snoopy versus Red Baron, an airplane ride. If you're a Disney fan, this is basically Dumbo. Hi there, pilots. We just wanted some airplanes, and next we're going to ride school buses. What Pops and I enjoy about Camp Snoopy is that it's in the shade. So we're standing in line, waiting for the kids. Plenty of shade. What's getting on your nerves right now, Boo? Because this is taking 42 hours to <laughs> wait for. So they have one operator for three rides. The camp bus, the kiting a tree, and Peanuts Trailblazers. One ride operator is going around all three of them. Seems like a flawed system to me. This was literally taking so long. We had to abandon it before we could ride one of the rides. And these are not even the primo rides. We were ready to get to the good stuff. Pops has got his rocking chair. I bet if you gave him long enough, he'd fall asleep. So we're going on a wood roller coaster right now. We just got off another one. So we're going to be riding a roller coaster. A wooden roller coaster, Woodstock Express. I think we're going to get in the front, huh, Hogan? Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait. If I scream, that's okay. This is such a perfect starter roller coaster. It's been in the park since 1975. It's got this decent first drop on it. You're back up and around, another drop, and then some nice airtime hills where you're gonna get a taste of that sensation that you have on some bigger roller coasters. So this, just get the kids used to what they're gonna experience should they tackle some other things in the park. And I just think this is a great experience for them. Some people might even argue this is the best wooden roller coaster in the park, but we'll get to more on that later. So what did the kids think? It was awesome! What was your favorite part? The drop. What'd you like, Pippa? When we, when we went down the hill. Yeah. They both did so well riding this fun little coaster, and this is foreshadowing because they are about to tackle more rides in this park than I ever thought they were going to. 
And another coaster was up next, Kitty Hawk. Here's the problem with this one. You want to do this one early in the day because there's only one train that goes. So you're waiting a while for this one train to do the circuit, unload, load, do everything it needs to do. So. These Vacoma inverted coasters are becoming pretty popular at amusement parks now. A nice little family ride. And you know what? I actually didn't get to experience it because Dad was a little bit too big around for this one. The girls and pops said it was fun, but I think Pippa was a little scared to ride with no one next to her. We'd done a lot of walking at this point, so Harmony Hall was next, a train station themed restaurant. I hear it's one of the best places to eat and of course get a picture with a Snoopy statue. It has several different stations and types of food, but we were here because we needed something to drink, grabbed a Coke, grabbed some water, checked out the seating area and the stage for shows and then headed to the next thing. Next up is the Carolina Sky Tower. That went up so high we could see almost the whole park. We also could see the planes up close. We could also see a couple of the roller coasters. And we could see the water park. The water park. The water park. The water park. This is not the water park. This is a fountain they wanted to play in, but they're clearly ready to get wet. All right, this is a first for me. <laughs> I was not able to get on the scrambler, not because I didn't fit in the seat, but because the seatbelt was too short and couldn't go around both me and Pippa. So she's riding by herself currently. And you know what, honestly, Carowinds has a reputation for being one of the least fat friendly parks around um, because they have to, they make you do a seatbelt and a lap bar on most everything. And that's what I have found is that I fit in the lap bars. Like they go down, they're secure because of the seatbelt thing can't get on the rides. So a little disappointing. Pippa had a blast. She loves the scrambler and I'm enjoying the shade and a cool breeze. So while we were on the scrambler, Pops and Hogan went to the grand carousel, but Pippa of course had to ride a carousel too. So Pops and Hogan actually hid out behind the column of the carousel so that they could ride again with us. And we enjoyed this historic ride that's over a hundred years old. Then we found another historical item, this really big boat anchor. I don't know what that was all about, but Pops wanted to check it out and the girls wanted to use it as a slide. So we're clearly maximizing the hours we have at the amusement park. Then we finally made our way into the heart of the park with some bigger roller coasters. And first up was Ricochet, which is a wild mouse roller coaster. We got to ride together as a family because there's only four people per car, but that also limits the capacity and the operations are a little slower. So it takes some time to get on. It's so long. I mean, there's like a hundred people. I mean, we probably waited 15 minutes. It was our longest wait of the day. Once we did get on a fun coaster, you get the hairpin curved, you get some nice drops. It does have some jank in it. It's not the best wild mouse coaster out there, but is it fun? Yeah, but I ride it more than once. Probably not. But up next was a milestone roller coaster for my girls. Their first upside down roller coaster experience. And these girls did not hesitate to get on. This is the Carolina Cyclone. You can see we have a double loop to start off. You're gonna work around the corner. Then you're gonna go into two corkscrews right over the top of the midway. This roller coaster is older than me, put here in 1980, but it's still a fun one. You've got the loops, you've got this helix coming up here. You can tell it's older, but it's a lot of fun. Definitely recommend. These girls just finished the Carolina Cyclone, their first upside down roller coasters. I know. What'd you think of the Carolina Cyclone? I didn't know what. What'd you think of your first upside down roller coaster? Awesome. That's not how I expected that to go. Why didn't you like it, Pip? Because I my head. Yeah, beat your head around pretty bad. That is a valid, a valid complaint. All right, we're coming up on the hurler. Big wooden roller coaster. Is it called the hurler? The hurler. It hurls you around or it makes you want to hurl, one or the other. What does hurl mean? Hurl means throw up. <laughs> Think it's gonna make you want to throw up? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Honestly, the hurler was not originally part of my day because I didn't know if the girls would be tall enough and I thought the big hill on it was gonna scare them. 
They tackled this roller coaster so easy, and I think that it was one of their favorites of the day. They had a good time. It's a very fun drop. The Hurler is a controversial roller coaster. When you ask enthusiasts, they don't like it. It's definitely on the rougher side, but I've ridden much rougher wooden roller coasters than this, and honestly, it's pretty fun. Maybe that's a hot take, but you can let me know in the comments. Three and a half hours in here. It's hard to get them to ride all of the water park, the dry part, before we get to the water park. But we're trying not to get Daddy. wet and then come back to the dry park to ride anything else. Daddy, so. Are we gonna play in the water? Yeah, I think so. So we're getting on this one. Then we're gonna see what else we wanna do here. So I'll definitely come back for more of the hurler. I'm not gonna lap it or anything every time I'm at the park, but decent ride. All right, we just rode the hurler. Hogan, what did you say? I am going to hurl. <laughs> and now's the time we can no longer keep them out of the water park, but we had to grab lunch, so we went to the Blue Ridge Country Kitchen. I haven't had the barbecue, which is I hear is what they're known for. Both times I've been here, I've had this, the sausage link and some fried okra. We got barbecue chicken tenders and plain chicken tenders. And these plates were $17 each, which felt steep even for theme park food. This is a chicken tender or barbecue. It tasted a little spicy, but I like it. A little spicy, but I like it. What do you think? A little spicy, but I like it. And it is finally time to head into the water park, Carolina Harbor. I feel like this is a great value because you get the water park included with the price of your ticket. So it's really kind of two parks in one. Here's the main boathouse. You can see there's shops and everything like that. There's several kids playgrounds. There's racer slides, there's tube slides, body slides, everything you want in a water park. Of course, there's a lazy river and even two wave pools. But here's where they get you. $22 to rent the smallest available locker. That price was a little too steep for me, and so I made a decision. Okay, walking in South Carolina. Walking in North Carolina. Walking in South Carolina. Walking in North Carolina. Two thoughts. The second will explain why I'm walking and huffing like this. First thought, I left you guys like three hours ago. It was like two, it's almost six now, so four hours ago. It's because I decided I wanted to be a dad with my kids in the water park. Great decision to put the phone down and just be a dad. So I know you wanna to try to record everything. Live in the moment. It has been great to be away from the phone and just be with my girls. Second thought, so I'm huffing and puffing. We decided not to fork over the $22 for a locker rental. So after we changed into water park clothes, my dad hiked out to the car, put our clothes back. And now I just hiked out to the car to get our clothes so we can change back in there. And I think they're gonna to want to ride even more rides. Y'all, if you can afford it at all, get the locker. It's way too expensive, I know. $22, but listen how tired I am. Okay, there's a third thing. I know I didn't tell you there was a third thing, but there is. When I bought my season pass, I got $30 for all season drinks. And whenever I'm in this park, every 15 minutes, I can get a Coke. That's the best $30 I've spent. So let me tell you, I've been getting cokes and sharing them with these girls every 15 minutes all day. And let me tell you, this sun after a water park, ooh, this coke tastes amazing. Somehow I lost my sock, so then daddy got me his. The heel's way up here, and then on the one, the, on the other one, the heel's right here. Well, walking out, we just changed. Now, we're gonna ride some more roller coasters. And we're gonna do some new ones that my dad wants to show us. And I lost it too last night. That too. The first thing we saw when we got out of the water park was the swings. These actually sit on the border, so you're swinging in and out of North Carolina the whole time. In and out of North and South Carolina, I should say. 
Next up, we are riding a Vacoma Boomerang Coaster. Literally, this is one of the first roller coasters I remember riding with my dad at Six Flags Over Texas. <laughs> one of my first big kid coasters that I love riding. Here's how my girls like it, six inversions. I cannot believe they're riding upside down roller coasters. It's getting crazy here. This one actually may have pushed the limits a little too much. They were not as thrilled when they got off of this ride after doing these three forward loops and then turning around and doing them all backwards. But luckily, something a little bit tamer was in store next. Right beside the Flying Cobras is the do -Si do and it's honestly one of my favorite flat rides in the park. Nice, smooth circles going round. And then it was time for our final roller coaster of the day. Easy peasy one, the Carolina Gold Rusher, a nice chill mine train ride. And I just have a nostalgic place in my heart for a mine train. This one isn't my favorite though, it's just a little boring, a little slow on the pacing. A couple times it does a drop into a helix, but honestly I expect a mine train to go underground and you're two minutes in before you finally get into anything that feels like a mine at all. And it's right here, you finally have some good speed and you're like, okay, I'm going into the mine underground and you pop right back up into the station and the ride is over. So, eh. Oh gosh, I'm looking like I've been in an amusement park for 10 hours. Just finished on the Carolina Gold Rusher. They are not tired despite it being their bedtime. Mind you, we're two hours from home. Scratch that, turns out they are actually tired. And this is where I made a tactical error as a dad and I pushed them to go to a whole nother area of the park I wanted to check out. It's called Aeronautic Landing, has some very cool airplane themed rides because of the flight history of North Carolina, but they were just done. In fact, Pippa ended up in tears. I was broken hearted because I knew I had pushed her too hard. Pops had to carry her out of the park and uh, it was just a rough end to an otherwise very incredible day. This was such an awesome day at Carowinds with my big girls and my dad. When I was growing up, we didn't take a lot of big trips, so some of my best memories are going to regional amusement parks and riding coasters. So this is exactly the type of day I pictured when I dreamed of being a dad long before these girls were part of our family, much less tall enough to ride a looping roller coaster. It goes to show that you don't have to take weeks off, drive a long way, or even spend a ton of cash to have great moments with your kids. Carowinds is definitely high on my recommend list and is one of my favorite dad ventures yet. If you enjoyed it, give us a like and subscribe for more fun to come with this crazy crew.